Let's have a look of an urban versus rural noise floor. On the left, we have, uh, we're on 40 meters. We have two different radios uh, running smart link on both radios. The left one is a flex radio on an NFED half wave in an urban setting in North Toronto. And on the right, uh, we have my remote uh, on a 40 meter V uh, at about 35 or 40 feet. You know, not really anything special. And uh, we can see here that, uh, and generally they're set up the same with antenna gains and stuff beyond that. We can see here that we've got on the left the noise floor sitting about 100, minus 106. And this is QR Mary, QR and M for man-made or man-made noise floor. And on the right, there's nothing wrong with that. We've got some probably lightning going on within a few thousand miles. But we're looking at QR Nancy noise floor um, and it's bouncing up and down. This is where we see the atmospheric noise floor. This is where we see the man-made noise floor. Now these guys are reasonably strong at about S7, S8. They're both reporting about the same RF signal, but again, if he fades away, this guy on the left's going to sound a lot noisier. Uh, 7168, let's have a listen. You know, there's there's the guy on the the same guy. We're going to bring him in on. No, it sounds about the same, but you know, if you, yeah, I don't want anyone to have any pipe dreams and schedule the afternoon. And, then and if he was weaker, we uh, uh, wouldn't be able to hear him. We had problems getting uh, over a branch or something, um, or have to cut something down. Uh, not big trees, but I have a few branches that have to be dropped so I can put up more antennas. No trees, just a few key branches. And if we notice the um, latency here to the remotes, 25, 36 milliseconds, it's about 160 kilometers away. Um, the, uh, you don't even hear the difference uh, in terms of uh, latency echo, but yeah, I find this really interesting. Thought you'd like, Mike, I thought you'd like to see the differences between urban and remote. 73, Mike, VA3MW.